Thanks for uh, uh, Chairman's kind introduction. Uh, at the beginning, I think that I have uh, 10 minutes, but uh, certainly I have uh, 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm from Taiwan. It's a great opportunity to be here for presentation, uh, Korea University. Um, the topic of my talk is the discovering biostimulation strategy of using herbal extracts for bioelectricity generation in microbial fuel cells. At the beginning, I need to mention about uh, the platform of uh, our, uh, uh, energy evaluation. I use uh, microbial fuel cells. At least there are three mechanisms that deal with the bi bioelectricity generation in MFC. One is membrane bound to redox protein in cells such as cytochrome. Two is a redox mediator for uh, electron shuttling such as phenazine uh, and phenols. If you, uh, three, if you use uh, so-called nail water generating bacteria like Gigobacter as one nail species, then the power generation will have more powerful promising. But if you use a specific bacteria for M uh, my, uh, bioelectricity generation in MFC, then the only control variable will be a uh, redox mediator. So I use this uh, uh, MFC as a platform to evaluate all kind of bio resources, that, whether that's the contain uh, the uh, electrochemical potential to be an uh, electron shuttle or an, or antioxidants so far. And uh, I think I need to uh, skip the so, so, so many things here, but uh, we mentioned about the chemical structure effect of uh, electron shuttering uh, capability of the, the chemical, and uh, then uh, we found the amino group that seems to be more promising to be an uh, electron shuttle, uh, shuttering uh, 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 functional group. Then uh, we introduced a uh, so-called uh, color generating uh, functional group that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, also formed, uh, such as hydroxy amino, so for hydroxy carboxy to the, the, the system for analysis, and then we found I trust the amino group, they are more promising to be uh, used as uh, 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 the functional group uh, for electron shuttling. And uh, also we would like to use that uh, uh, the chemical uh, for long-term uh, uh, use. The, uh, uh, then uh, we have uh, some comparison uh, by using uh, a cyclic photomogram for uh, at least 100 cycles, a scan cycle. Um, we found uh, a hydroxy group that more stable than uh, amino group. So then uh, we finally we choose uh, hydroxy would be the our goal to uh, uh, for study. And uh, these days, uh, people would like to use uh, the, the all kind of bio resources for sustainable development. Uh, then uh, we uh, go through all the literature. Then uh, we found a brand that contain the so-called uh, the polyphenolic compound or. Uh, uh, in there, uh, that's uh, well known to be uh, antioxidant. Everyone knows that. But um, if you go through that, that's a key extract. Uh, the main content of uh, catechin, epicatechin, EC, EGCG, EG, uh, ECG, and so forth, and GA and gallic acid. They are all the polyphenolic uh, hydroxy uh, group bearing chemicals. So uh, the basic concept of CV scan is this way. CV repeat the electron donating and resorting processes uh, to stimulate, simulate the response of serial redox, redox reaction through electrochemistry. So if you conduct this process for at least 100 times, that means this chemical will respond in this way. If you see all the profiles show the same, similar, almost identical uh, 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 behavior, that means this chemical is quite stable. If you uh, uh, process a repeat uh, uh, a reduction and oxidation, and, uh, if you can see the so-called reduction uh, uh, potential peak and uh, uh, oxidation of uh, potential peak at the same time, that means it is the electron shuttle. So, so that's the, the basic concept of this. Here is a, some example. Everyone knows that uh, the vitamin C, we conduct 100 cycles, but if you draw all the figure at one, that will be very complicated. So I choose 
cycle 10, 50, 100. You will see that that's quite reversible uh, to see only one oxidative potential peak is uh, on antioxidants, ketone, antioxidants. But if you go through a river of everything, that's a vitamin B2, B2 there, yeah, you will show the both reductive and oxidative potential peak as an uh, electron shunt. So we go through some medicinal herb and then we choose a so called Huang Qing Gan in uh, Chinese. Okay? The main compo component is uh, Huang Qing, uh, you know, uh, that's uh, the, the main component of Huang Qing, medicinal herb. You will also see the both reductive and oxidative potential peak as an electron shuttle here. So I would like to have uh, some comparison about electron shuttle and the antioxidants. Electron shuttle is a reversible catalyst between electron donor and an electron acceptor is more available to be functioning in anaerobic condition because uh, oxygen is quite strong electron acceptor. And now this is an electron uh, donor that scavenges free random and active oxygen group. When you want to use this kind of resource for uh, the bioenergy application, you need to consider the biotoxicity uh, potency uh, first. And also, electron shock is very tricky. Yeah, usually, it should be functioning with proper condition, uh, such as uh, appropriate pH, and uh, usually the reduction potential is between the electron donor and an electron acceptor that's uh, such as a pollutant and a microbes. And also, that's the most important thing here for our study. We would like to know what kind of strategy of the electron shuttle and antioxidants conversion. We try to maximize so all kind of electron shuttle composition among the, the electrochemical species. That's the main goal of our study. That's quite crucial for novel biotechnology. Here, is, uh, we go through uh, one more than 20 uh, uh, medicinal herbs. Uh, we go went through the uh, uh, Ben Chao Gang Mu, uh, written by uh, Li Shizhen in Ming Dynasty. And uh, we choose uh, more than 20 refreshing uh, medicinal herbs. And uh, we finally found uh, Actually, that's uh, very crucial to be used. As you can see right here, all kind of herbal is structured on both reduction and oxidation putting your kids in CV profile as an electron shuttle. So, uh, around after 80 cycle of CV scan, electron parent seems to be decayed to steady state level likely due to mixture of electron shuttle and antioxidants. Usually, the curve will be converged. Even if that's all used, then that will be the decay to be zero, something like that. But you will see that still you will see after every 80 cycle of the CV scan, you will still see the uh, electron shuttering capability. That means they have such, such kind of species in, in, in my test or her. And also, as I mentioned earlier, the environmental condition is quite crucial to determine that the electrochemical activity to be electron shuttle or antioxidants. Here uh, I choose the Ding Xiang and the green tea. As you can see right here, at different pH, at my pH is shown that the higher area of electron uh, uh, CV uh, uh, profile, as you can see right here. That means it contains a higher electron chemical activity, then that's a very high opportunity to be used as, as the electron shuttle. And also the similar result uh, the, the, for so many uh, medicinal herbs, I, I just choose a green tea and a ding xiang for uh, example here, showing here. And uh, we have uh, we have some comparison so far, uh, like uh, camellia uh, tea extracts and also non camellia green, uh, tea extracts and uh, some uh, medicinal herb. And we found actually so far green tea would be the best. It contains the highest uh, electrochemical activity. And even if we have this such kind of CV scan result, we still need to add into the MFC for testing because that's bio-electrochemical device to determine that. So uh, we add this, uh, uh, we choose uh, different, uh, different uh, tea extract by, and uh, we choose uh, uh, water extract, ethanol extract, we add to MFC, and as you can see right here, what is extremes to be more promising than ethanol extract? For example, like green tea is around 30, 
uh, power density and uh, the, the, the asteroid strength is around 24 something. And the ranking of the T strength will be green T greater than uh, oolong T greater than black T greater than black. And that means that's due to the different degree of the T fermentation. Actually, green T is unfermented tea and the part oolong tea is um, partially fermented tea and uh, the, the red, uh, red tea is completely fermented tea. So that's why almost all, um, so many, I, I should not say everything, but uh, 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 but uh, so many uh, components, uh, uh, polyphenolic components uh, were uh, fermented. So that's why the green tea will be the best. CV profile also shows similar uh, ranking. Even we have this result, we still need to consider uh, the, the biotoxicity. Uh, uh, when we want to use uh, the medicinal herb for application, we need to consider this point. Here I choose the Ding Xiang and the Chen Pi as an example. Uh, the, the, for power density, you will see original greater than uh, uh, 100 cycle greater than blank for Ding Xiang, but uh, the Chen Pi is uh, uh, totally different. The 100 cycle is greater than original, greater than uh, blank. That's uh, due to the significant uh, toxicity potency of uh, the, uh, Chen, Chen Pi. So usually you, when you conduct a CV scan, that does uh, something like a CV uh, treatment. Uh, you will reduce the uh, toxicity uh, for use. Even we have this result, and then I think I need to skip it, uh, this part, but uh, we also found the total phenolic compound uh, content and uh, the enhanced and activity and the stimulating efficiency of the power generation of all electrochemically associated. Here is the conclusion. Edible flower may act as electron shuttle to enhance the electrochemical mediate refinery by energy in the MFC. And also total phenolic content, the uh, enhanced uh, activity and uh, the stimulated efficiency of power generation were all electrochemically associated. In my opinion, contention is quite uh, important to, to determine electrochemical activity as an enhanced uh, or electron shuttle. So usually we will use that uh, when we uh, apply the electron shuttle to the system and uh, that's the so-called electron fermentation that can uh, produce a diverse uh, product for uh, uh, various applications. And uh, the, uh, the, the future work will still focus on the uh, operation strategy to choose to alter the, the role between a and the electron shuttle. That's uh, for, the, for, uh, for, for our uh, future uh, work. Uh, Finally, I want to thank the funding support for the Ministry of Science and Technology. And there are so many uh, professors and students work on this project. Without their a significant contribution, I cannot present anything right here. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, impressive talk. Uh, I would like to take us one or two questions from the floor. Uh, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah, so uh, your uh, data uh, shows uh, some of enhanced uh, bioelectrochemical reaction by adding some of hover uh, some material, right? So um, you, uh, in, uh, you envision that uh, the addition of uh, some of uh, some plant material can uh, behave as an uh, electron shutter. And uh, you think uh, so uh, the uh, your uh, rationale is based on CV experiment. Uh, but uh, so I would like to ask questions about uh, some of direct uh, so connection uh, between enhanced uh, electrochemical uh, reactions and uh, some of uh, so ability of uh, uh, some uh, electron shutters. Do you have some of uh, some of uh, data for? Yeah, I have some data, but uh, since you presentation actually when you if you have a, a direct contact and uh, we use oh, that's a long story okay and um, we use a source for anana so anana for uh, for bioelectricity generation at that time and we also add a uh, pure chemical not this part we we have a pure chemical amino phenol also enhance uh, the power generation but uh, at that time, uh, there are three isomers. Uh, I uh, also pair a meta uh, uh, isomer. Uh, we found also a pair, they can enhance uh, the, the, the power generation. 
So the, for your system, I think the geo backer, I did not try it before, but this one era species I, I tried before. We had an electron shuttle that enhances significantly. Yeah, so even uh, in your case, I think for GAC, uh, I, 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 I don't know, I, I just look at that, and it seems the more prices so, so dominant right, at this point. <laughs> so that's, uh, uh, if you, you 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 try to, to add that for as a control, maybe that can enhance more. So that's what uh, I think. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, any further questions? Yeah. yeah, please. The microbial filter that you have adopted here, and uh, different types of cells, and that you have mentioned. Is there any role of this microbial filter cell in carbon capture? So we have to Microbial fuel cell in different aspects, such as the e petrol or the biodiesel, like that. What is your uh, future industry? Yeah, we have tried that to, uh, we just uh, applied some voltage in there, then uh, carbon dioxide converted to be uh, methane. Yeah, so something. But uh, so, so far, you, I just use this study to evaluate all kinds of resources, and then uh, I try to create a so-called uh, 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 energy drink at this point. MFC uh, is not so practical at this point, but uh, I can use that as a uh, platform. So uh, if you want to use that for carbon uh, reduction, that uh, usually so many that's uh, Beijing University, right? They, say they, they, they have such a kind of, kind of system that's uh, MFC, MEC, that's a so-called MEC, yes. That can be applied. And uh, if you apply the voltage to a fermentation, that's a so-called electrical fermentation. So very diverse the, 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 the application at, at, at this point, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, now I